Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain, and welcome to our November vlog as the election is now passed. So congratulations to the Trump team. It's going to get a lot of work for us as we look at next year and tax reform, a lot of our issues. You know, this fall still in play is the energy bill, 179D tax credits, all being negotiated up on the Hill. So some action may happen, but, you know, get ready for tax reform next year. I've been traveling a lot uh, the last month and a half been in Raleigh and Dallas and Kansas City, just got back from Seattle. And it's interesting when you look at some of the studies that are out in terms of what's going on with this economy. And now people are saying, well, maybe this is a double header. It's not just one game. It's not the eighth inning, or maybe it is at the first game with the second game to come. But it's a lot of development going on in cities. It was really interesting to be in Kansas City and see their new light rail on a Saturday night packed. It's interesting to go into a Seattle and you see the development downtown what's going on in the suburbs of that in Kirkland doing some strategic planning with a terrific group um, in Seattle. And that was all launched by an emerging professionals committee and program that I got to be a part of that really infuses a lot of energy and look into the future of this organization and getting those folks involved in the discussions around the advocacy, the education and training, how they want to receive that, how companies are letting them participate in education in smaller bite-sized pieces is all important information that we're getting and also looking at the leadership and how do you communicate with those folks you know i'm on twitter some of you follow me on twitter um that crowd sort of blazed over you know they're snapchatting and doing other things so you learn in terms of the things that we've got to do but there's a lot of play going on in the economy raleigh's got development going on you see it in dallas midtown corporations moving in so whether the gdp is as high as we would like it's only one and a half percent compared to the rest of the world we're doing pretty well there's a lot of vitality out there. And people are looking at ways to repurpose that existing building stock. And we've been talking about open floor plates and, and all the rest that goes with it. Um, emerging trends in real estate. So I've got a little reading for you, but emerging trends in real estate, which is done by the Urban Land Institute, along with PricewaterhouseCoopers. New phrase they have in there is optionality. People are looking for that in terms of how they set up their offices, the kinds of tenants they wanna bring into the buildings and the flexibility that comes with it. We've been looking at that, obviously, in terms of our own research, in terms of offices, the impact of density, going through tenant checklists in terms of the different impacts uh, denser clients can have on your building operations and other tenants in those buildings. Uh, and of course, in the technology piece, we're in a mobile society. People are looking for, A, the access and the bandwidth and the Wi-Fi, but they're also looking for integrated systems, uh, lighting, security, all the rest that goes with it. So we've just put out, a, or we'll just be putting up some research on the Internet of Things um, as we look at those operations and how BOMA should play in that sandbox. I was talking about the economy a little bit. Another book that I think you might like, which I thought was fascinating, The Accidental Superpower, which talks about demographics and geography, and it gives you a nice positive picture of our place on the planet over the next 20, 30 years, the strength of the United States and our economy and all the things that go with it. Uh, so I encourage you to take a look at that um, as we're all students of this industry and want to see where it's going. I just want to finish up by a little call out. My friend and colleague, Russ Salzman, has left IRAM uh, to pursue other things. Just a wonderful colleague, so I wish him the best. Look forward to working with IRAM and the team over there going forward, but Russ has been one of the folks we've worked with, been around the Boma family for years, and I just wanted to wish him well. Thanks.